Okay, I guess this is part two. Part two. It's it's 5:34 p.m. and it's a Monday. It's Monday, May 24, 2021. Broadcasting live from the Boogie Down Bronx. Live. Well, I'm alive. <laughs> I record them. And it's like, <clears throat> now nah, that's another thing. You cannot live stream whatever you want. You cannot live stream from whatever you want. You know, like, you know, everything, everything is full. Is. You know, the rhythm is every day more and more um, sophisticated, unfortunately. I mean, it's sophisticated or not. It's just about one word, uh, I don't know, because it's like whatever in that automatically. You know, like that video, I just had no warning, you know, like, oh, you're in fraction, whatever, nothing. You know, I was, I went to the park over there and uh, by my house, and you know, it's insane, you know, this shit has turned into a crack house, you know, with, uh, with triple K, with three Ks, you know, what I mean, you know, so it's like, I already like you know oh and you started to hear in the media you know all this stuff like um, <clears throat> I saw that you know they have a new uh, Fox News uh, I just I just triggered the, the rhythm I guess and, um, and, and they were saying you know how they are teaching you know uh, with Zungu with Zungu babies and Neanderthal babies to hate the color of their skin. And I was like, what color? What skin? You call that shit skin? <laughs> Hola! Hey, oh, it tasty? Very tasty. Is it me or something happened to her skin? Or his skin? <gasps> oh my god. You got attacked. I hope you. I hope it's an attack and it's not. Uh, oh, no, they walked. They left immediately. They think I'm like taping them. Oh my god. I hope it's not an infection that we're all gonna get it. I'm like. Paranoia, you don't know. I cannot see what it is. I just find that shit so cute that they're sitting on benches, you know. I walk over there, you know, all the way from the park, and I see, um, you know, cats sitting on the bench. You got something hanging from your lip. Hey, cutie. Oh my god, what happened to you? Are you okay? Oh my god. Squirrely. All right, let me let me get you a nut. Hold on. I got walnuts. I can find them all the way down to the bottom. No, it's gone. Oops. I just covered his face like everybody's paranoid now. This is what I'm telling you, and they want to legislate them the streets. Well, he's in, got every right to cover his face, you know, especially God knows what he's into, you know, but um, I have every right to film whatever the fuck I want in the street. And I told you, they are legislating um, the stairs, the stairs, the stairs, when you walk up the stairs, oh God, this language, the stairs, the stairs. It seems like if a, if a guy or a bitch, you know, like, oh, those are the first ones to stare at your fucking tits, you know. I turn around on, on 207th Street, and this woman, she was like, 
with her child over there, like, <clears throat> it's like, what the fuck? Are you serious? I mean, like, but, it's just like, do I like it? No. But, is it legal? Yes. Should be legislated? No. Absolutely not. But now, it's just like, I saw, I've seen pictures of, you know, like, oh, look at that guy, and they parade him all over on social media. Look at the guy staring at her ass. Look at the guy staring at her boobs. And like, you know, like, and, and, it's just like, it's just like, this shit started, well, for me, I mean, I mean, this shit started when I was little. I mean, like, as to, like, you know, the unisex fashions and all that stuff, and, like, you know, that was crazy. I mean, you just don't have any signs of stopping. We have turned men into just emotional bitches. We have already, like, I mean, accomplished so much destruction. And, and they don't even have... Um, ending in sight. The guy with the, with the muffin and then the, the milkshake. I'm like, <laughs> hit me out. It. Might as well, you know, like, yeah. at least, well, anyway, I'm just going to shut up. Oh, I know. I know. This is like, thank God, sugar's never been my thing. I mean, except now. That is like, I just feel like, you know, because they have the, the 99 cent packages. And I know that's from like, like a sense of uh, deprivation, what they call like deprivation schema, whatever. Oh, wow, whatever, you know, so you get activated sometimes. You know, it's when I don't have money, it's just like, I feel like, oh, I want to buy something. And I don't need anything, you know, but. I mean, I'm, I am Mexican, so I can, it's great for me to eat every night. I can have my bowl of beans. You can season them the any way you want it. And, um, I, instead of uh, regular oil, I put uh, extra virgin olive oil. So, I mean, it's like, I know it's not very much nutritious unless, unless they are boiled. Right when you boil them, that's, I think it's the most efficient you're gonna get. Still, but they're cheap. Oh God, they're very cheap. So, so uh, hopefully I can get some of the, the COVID weight off fucking belly and like, you know. So I went to the beach and on none of these freaking gates, they got, you know, I guess they never stop. They never stop working. It's like skinny, skinny. Oh, I guess that's, that's, that's another thing. I mean, another thing, I guess. Um, but uh, they're skinny, skinny, skinny. I was like thinking like, okay, so let's see, like all these beer bellies. <laughs> And stay home, and like this is why it's such a like hoax, you know that. Oops, I just trigger the the rhythm. Um, and, um, that um, <clears throat> like that, you know the gates never have stopped. Their orgies, their parties, their whatever, blah, blah, blah. And do what they do. Like, what about the prostitutes? They never stop. <laughs> and they're still there. I guess that's not a risk. That's not considered risky behavior for, for the unnameable. I mean, like, that should be like, you know, just 
whatever it is, whatever it is, but it's definitely don't have a pattern. Don't follow a pattern. It's very random. It's very like, you know, you get it when you get it, how you get it, and like, you know, and the other 10 million people, they did the same thing at the same time in the same place. Never got it. So, and I was having a conversation on, on the bus on the way back. This poor guy, he, he lived right there in Flatbush and he worked over there in Far Rockaway. He said that he have to he have to go to the last stop to get a seat and he like but he was very, very affected, like you can tell he had a lot of rage. He was making like under his breath he was making comments about, you know, retarded bitches, like look all this stuff, you know, like yeah, whatever. I'm sorry. Yeah, he looked like a grumpy, grumpy old man, you know. And um, so I was telling him about the topless beach, and I was like, "Yeah, somebody told me I went there, and it was only guts. You like f f guts, and it was like that was very, very crazy." He said, "Like I was like, yeah, I said, I said like you know." Um, so it was like, just, uh, just, just just talking about that. What else did he talk about? I don't know. He got off on, uh, I guess right before Utica. Um, or after Utica. No, he got off after Utica. And, uh, but, yeah, he did have a lot of anger. I suspect that he was also like, I don't know. I mean, and, and the driver kept stopping and putting more and more people in. I said, like, you see? You see that they, they, they're looking for prevention. Oh, he wanted me to, to you know, I, I was like, he said, like, so, so he told me he went to Sloan Catering, Catering, what, Cataracts, Cataracts, whatever. No, that's not it. You know what I mean? No, the, the Bougie Hospital. The Upper East Side, and I told him, oh, "Smart." It's <laughs> like, you know, it's like that's like, like cause I told him, like, I'm not sure, you know, they have one, you know, and might have, you know, they might go by zip code or something. I don't know. I mean, like, <laughs> are you a paranoid or whatever? Like, this? like why you went there? to the Upper East Side. I was like, I wanted to ask him, and I was like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that beach is, that beach is crazy. That beach is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And that's what, like, I, I was hoping, I mean, I don't know, let's see who become the new Bronx borough president. I might ask them to do a topless section at Orchard Beach. At least on weekdays. That could be like a, like a good compromise thing, wouldn't it? Like, it's crazy that, that, that you know, like, so we're talking about something bad or something, you know, just to, to get some sun. Like, you've got to go to these weird-ass places to do that. Okay, the temperature is dropping. I think I'm getting my coat. Okay, um... <laughs> I thought you were going to say, ladies and gentlemen. Um, then... Let's start. Yeah, both these are Burlington. It was like... Less than twenty dollars. Uh, uh, you don't go with nothing, but and it's hideous. But uh, um, it's a uh, you can put it in the in the bag, and you just now zip it up because now it's all like this. It's all like, 
in my bag. <laughs> and I hate that. Mm. And then somebody might stop by and I... And look all the garbage you got in your bag. <laughs> now I got too quiet. Catch it if it's like half okay, between the bag. Oh, it's crazy, man. Yeah. Tomorrow might be not. No, if they say it's gonna be cold the whole week, it's gonna be crazy. And yeah, I'm just like, it's a, this, this hasn't been so bad because I've been going out. I've been going out. If I stay in the house, it's just for me, it's just so. I get into like a pattern really hard to get out of the pattern. Yeah. I always I had the pattern stay in the house every freaking day. I had people calling me like you know like grandma it's like you know and I was always there. And I was like well, I hated that. I like, no, was like now I'm never there so now well I don't really have a friends, you know, I have acquaintances, whatever but now they started calling me, they've been calling me, like, I got home last night and I had like three missed calls and one voice message called me, and, like, when I call tonight, I don't know, people are so weird, you know, first they don't even want to like, they disappear and then like, you know, they get a little strange, it's like, you're too old to, you know, you should, you should, you should just stay in the house. They like people like reliable just in the house, I guess. They like a grandma. And I thought about it before I left the house. Shit, I haven't returned the call. No, but I will. It's probably some bullshit. It's always bullshit, you know, like, ah, oh, dancing, or, you know, they want to, you know. <clears throat> So, where, where was I? Yeah, the beach. Oh my god. Oh, and it seemed like the ocean came and <laughs> they took uh, like all the fans of uh, rocks. You know, they, after Hurricane Sandy, they decided to make uh, the, the city beach. beach. I don't want to get you know, confused by the other word, you know, and um, so they race the sand and everything, like they, you know, like a lot of feet up. And the side where I go to is a federal beach. This is like right on the border. Where I sit, it's like right on the border from federal to state. So um, everything came up. Everything came off and I they placed some of the rocks uh, and they actually placed them they took a little bit of the border which I I was gonna tell everybody like you see how they're like they want to move the border but they they create a family. they wanted they wanted the, the the city the state or whatever the, the government whatever they wanted them to build a fence because of the federal beach um, that people get wild and yeah, go naked or around naked and stuff like whatever so so you know that residential neighborhood which is like a very bougie and very expensive and they got the blood spangled banner everywhere which is really scary I'm like, I'm like I don't want to be caught here at night you know it's just uh, so they wanted the, the state to pay for it so they put in one themselves I think they put another but it just they put like just the one from the the, the front yard of the, of the of the first house or the last house we want to get. So they put a concrete wall partial, and then they fill it out with uh, sacks of sand and uh, whatever they did that, and then put rocks and rocks, concrete blocks, concrete rocks, not blocks. And uh, they put in there, but the ocean come in like, you know, it's nothing. Like the water will come in like, yeah, somehow, I don't know what to do. I didn't know this is a hurricane. I was like, what is that? 
So it ended up to having like a pool right there. When the tide is low, it just a uh, puddle. And it's like this crackers I was putting the, the dogs in there. I was like, I thought about it like getting in there I mean, because like it might be fresh. So I think get like the tide go up and refresh the water. I think much better than Orchard Beach. <laughs> so um, and, and putting the dogs in there, I was like, are you serious? Why are you put the damn dogs in there? And I like the children that were going in. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's nice. And, uh, but it's really nice to get there, um, you know, like before everybody get there. Yeah, that's, that's the best. That's the best. At least you get a few hours of peace and quiet. And then like, oh gosh, all these characters, you know, I wouldn't even believe it. You wouldn't even believe it, you know, like how I am. But it's, it's just what it is, I guess I'm too old, I don't know, that's just, <laughs> whatever, you know, but um, I was glad that I was able to get some sun and um, my belly. <laughs> I was just like, man, my belly never get any sun. So it was very relaxing. And the sound was pretty good. The sound was pretty good. I was disappointed that some of the music I downloaded, some of the mixes, they got poor quality. I'm like, I keep going to the, you know, whatever, equalizer, whatever they call it. And I keep going, like, trying to find a setting that will. It was horrible. I was like downloading all this shit and like it sound horrible. So yeah, you got up to play music that, you know, because it's very loud. So so you can tell a lot of the, the stuff, you know, that, that's... So, but it, but it was good. It was a good day. And, uh, I got home. I got home on the leg of 11, yeah, and I was like, and then transferring to the, from the tube, um, no, actually, it was the tube train where I was, it was like, pigs, pigs, and I transferred to the one, and they were like, pigs, it's like, yeah, I was thinking like, I'm not good at math, but if I was going to make it like this. Sunday, like you know, but it was very quiet for some reason. I was hoping I hate taking the one train, it was like that's probably the worst train. All the people they they think they are happy, they're like, whatever. Oh, turn down your music, you know, even if I just have it like this, just for myself, you know, like you know, everything, you know, that they just like. Never take the, the first cars on the one train. These are the ones that go to, to Riverdale. Like, it's like, gosh, you live all the way up there and you still got a freaking attitude like that. I'm like, oh shit, I was gonna say something. This is why I hate when they cut off the video, you know? So I you know, start. I guess I'm done. Oh, I wanted to mention that I'm supposed to be vlogging in my native tongue because we have elections on Sunday and I'm not. And I'm curious, it's like, what is that about? What is that about? I don't know some shit but... Mr. Taliban man I would make up some Mr. Taliban um. I got distracted again Yeah so I'm like so bizarre what's going on you know in my 
home country. It's just um, it leave you like it's hard to read, you know. It's hard to read. Shit, it's just like I have to be in, I have to be very observant. Um, well, we started on um, officially our leftist government started. Um, December 1st. <laughs> oh my god, all these dates. I'm really bad at dates. Um, 2019? No, 2018. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. It was like two and a half years almost. It's like, gosh, I don't know. I, can, I, don't, I cannot get distracted with that. Sorry. So, um, I decided to open a an account just solely focused on, on Mexico, you know, and Latin America, you know, because there's no way you can do anything with one account. There's no way you have to, you know, you have your home country, and uh, you know, it's just so distracting, you know, and it's too much. And the rhythm is gonna give you whatever it wanna give you, and that's it. You know, unfortunately, and. It's always the same people. It's always the same people. You know, I, I have to. I have been having to just, just unfollow and sometimes even block a lot of people. Not just because I hate or whatever. It's just like I don't know if they pay money or something. But it's like why? You know, like and if you miss, uh, if you stay away for like a couple of days, and they tell you, you know, such and such tweeted this, tweeted that. I even took some screenshots about this person, you know, which, by the way, did you want to write? Uh, uh, so, you know, she started like, you know, um, you know, lovely lady from the south, and, uh, and then the uh, next thing, no, she worked for a uh, newspaper, I mean, not newspaper, this is more, it's like news portal, whatever, and it's not you know, like one of those that, you know, people make up whatever, a website and whatever. And, oh no, they got budget. They got budget. And they're leftists, but this is like, why do I need to see you know, what the portal and her and the other journalists who were there and the owner of the, of the portal and uh, whatever, and that's all I see. That's all I see. They got the freaking portal and, and the so-called journalists, or whatever they are, uh, they're tweeting, I don't know, like 10 tweets an hour. But that's just one of many strategies they're using. You know, like, it's like, you gotta block them. It's like, I'm just, I need to see all the people. I don't care what your freaking journalist gotta say. Because their priority is, is their brand. Their career. They're only thinking about branding themselves. When they say, "Oh yeah, I'm diehard leftist and I love my country," and I'm like, "Whatever, yeah." Then, you know, we want to. I want to listen to the people, just real people. And like that, I mean, there was many, many that they came out. Let's say, like when I opened that account, 2017, whatever. And they was they were some. Uh, the, the only, you know, like, like, oh, you know, I'm just a Mexican. You know, okay, great. And then they started like opening themselves, like, you know, you know just amazing. Now, now I'm a journalist. Now I'm like whatever. It's like, why don't you put it that in the first place? So give me the choice to follow you as a journalist. I don't. I don't follow. I mean, I try not to follow journalists. I'm like, you know, try to be polite about sometimes somebody follow me, whatever, blah blah. But, but it's like, you know, the mute button is good. But yeah, the other people find out anyway. The other people you can tell you can tell that you're there muted. So, so, um, so many strategies. It's like, you know, long story short, we have elections on Sunday. Um, it's about my home state and other, um, 
how many um, states? It's like 10 states. Yeah, like 10 states, Senate seats, all, all that stuff. You gotta come back. <laughs> That's always the corner where all the parents. They gotta, they gotta teach their children. I think it's a man. It's <laughs> whistle and stop. And we go like, Stephen, please stop. <laughs> like the kids go like, <laughs> I see them running up the staircase. And these women that they can barely walk, they gotta run <laughs> to get it. We're like, oh, it's just scary. It's just so scary. Like that they, that these children they start like going. Even the street, they let them like, you know, like. They keep going and they, and they got they, they still had a bicycle. Well, he actually called call him uh, on time. It's not like right at the corner. The corner is still far away. I, I will be one of those parents too. I will be one of those parents too. Even like a mile away from the from the sidewalk, and I'll be like already like turn away, turn turn back, whatever you know. I gotta focus. Gosh. So we are not organized. And I, we just. Um... <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> See that? I'm like talking, trying to be dignified. I'm like. <laughs> <coughs> So, <clears throat> things still there. If they say that's not what happened, that it don't go the, the wrong pipe, then what is it? I feel like that. to see how many people, how many of supposed to your people are so deceitful and so dishonest and then like, and the same thing that has always been since I'm on Twitter. People grabbing my ideas and running with them. Not that I mind, but damn, I mean like, you gotta wonder. You gotta wonder, I mean like, it's good, you know, I mean, like, I like it that way, you know, ever since I got on Twitter, I mean, like, okay, I'm not looking for fame, I'm not looking for glory, I'm not looking for credit, whatever, you know, but still, it just surprised you how shameless people are, you know, I say things like, you know, and they repeat word by word, you know, I, I, I said about this woman, Victoria Salazar, that she got killed by the Mexican police, you know, in, in Quintana Roo. Cancun, it's Cancun, and um, and I said it because she was the wrong phenotype. She wasn't blonde. She wasn't didn't have blue eyes because those they don't do like that. They fracture her backbone. How the fuck you do that? And there was bitches in the police. So the solution is say like, oh yeah, let's put this Maquila gorillas in there so they would be um i say like a softer <laughs> police mm -mm. I, I was like <clears throat> and of course every time i said whatever i said like people get so triggered <laughs> and nice oh, i got like oh you know you know she's white she look white they're like how's she gonna look white she got her behind <laughs> I mean, it's like, they want to see what they want to see, you know, and still, like, you know, I've been living in the United Slaves of America for more than 30 years, so I can tell you, and I and I know, we I, we know what the, the phenotype is, what the African phenotype is, we know, and we know that we all train to, to subtly, like, look for, for that, you know, those, those things, like, oh, it's something like, automatically, People's tone of voice and everything, I guess they call it demeanor, you know, like go like, oh, 
and they see Becky and like, oh yeah, how can I help you? You know, like we see like even the even the cops. I'm sorry to stop you, but you're you're one of your tail lights. It's off, and I'm gonna have your you know, automatically. They see a phenotype and like you know, uh, <clears throat> and out of, get out of the car, whatever. You know, you know like, why? Why am I doing this? And then it's like, just get out of the car and blah blah blah. And it's like what? It's just. It, it, it always goes pretty rough or pretty deadly sometimes. I mean, we we just found out about this gentleman that they released a video and his last words were saying like, "I'm scared. I'm your brother." I'm like, that's feminism. That's feminism. The guy was immense. All muscle. It looked like it was all muscle. I don't know. It's like they put pictures of him like that. He had thumbs like this, something like that. And that's what he said. I'm so glad every encounter I had with the pigs, I never been subservient. But I, I have been too outspoken. Um, it's a miracle I'm still here. Um, doing it all wrong if you have your child he look like in his 40s and used to go I'm your brother time and time again we see coonery don't work and it's coming back I mean the part that the walnut I love you. Is it good? It's all right. <laughs> you had better, right? Ay, Dios mío, se me cayeron todas. Oh, I got them. I almost brought the shit. And just a little bit for today. I hope they don't attack me tomorrow. <laughs> That's always like my grandma. It's like, don't do that, you know. I always say that, you know. Well, I actually read that many years ago that a lot of times, like, don't give money in your neighborhood because one day they might be high. You know, and it's, it happens sometimes, you know, like, the light. They are in one of those mental health crises. And um, you can get it. You want more? You're too tiny for that. I don't have any more for today. That should be enough. that song now. I will survive. Feminist anthem. A little bit too dramatic. I will su survive. I'm trying to hold this thing. Where do you put all that food? I'm just curious. I'm asking for a friend. I wonder what she got on her skin. Um, I'm thinking of like Because I'm not, I'm not doing it. 
I'm not doing I could be right now like you know just in my house like I have been other times you know like 24 7 just on social media kind of like we don't even know the candidates to tell the truth we don't even know what happened was that we built up some um, youtubers and they betrayed us say I kept I was telling them you know I don't want to know what the right wing knots are doing. I don't. I don't care what they're doing. <laughs> this kid is yelling at this bird or squirrel in the tree. Fruit. <laughs> now it's blowing kisses. <laughs> the children are so adorable. I thought it was gonna fall. What is it? I don't see it. There's something in the tree. Um, um, so I'm not doing it. I'm like it's terrifying as that is. I just feel like you know they are counting on that. All these freaking infiltrated, all these freaking traitors, you know, they're, they're banking on, on that, like, oh, we're going to be working again, you know, 24-7 without sleep or food, whatever, just to come true. For what? What candidates? These candidates, you know, like, this, all these freaking candidates being in the other political parties and they have co-signed and they have voted for atrocious shit. You're supposed to trust them? I don't know. I trust the president. I trust our president. But other than that, I don't trust nobody. I'm not gonna be like killing myself off and... <clears throat> Unbelievable. It was like... Not even like not even three years ago. We always just asking God, please, please let us win this and I'm gonna change and I'm gonna be like we're gonna be like all together. We're gonna be tight, we're gonna be like instead of like, you know, oh how many followers I got, how many you know, retweets. I mean, like, let me tweet something witty. It's like, what the hell? I don't need your wit. I need information. I don't have time. I'm not going to spend all my life on that fucking shit. You know? <clears throat> just when you tweet, it, I try just to tweet something that is pertinent. I took a video from um, Venezuelan television where uh, Dios Dado Cabello which for a long time he was the number second, the second in command in Venezuela. Where he was telling, you know, something that happened in 2015. That he was in his car and he took out his hand to greet some of the, the people. And they threw something on this finger that expanded. He was this close of losing his hand and dying from, you know, septicemia, or I don't know how you call it in this language. It was to say, this freaking poison was so fast. If it be, but they know, they know in Venezuela, they know. If it had happened anywhere else, that he would have been dead completely. If he, if, but they know already, they know that how they work, they have all these cancers and, and whatnot that they, they give them out, you know. So, <clears throat> so he was saved. Say like you know, I didn't want to talk about back then. I didn't want to talk back then about this. And this at the same time that they had, um, they had um, the one of the leading newspapers published this article saying like, saying that he was, uh, you know, uh, a lord. Everything is like everything was happening at the same time. He, he talked about it. it was a coordinated attack. And they thought it's like, we just 
we just do this expose and people are gonna believe us and then he died and it's like oh you see you see he he got he got because they didn't want him to talk they didn't want him to sing and uh, <clears throat> And um, it, 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 you know, it would have been perfect if he had died. He said, it's like, if I had died, it would be like, you see, that was like the lifestyle he was living and blah, blah, blah. And just like, he lived to tell. He lived to tell. So I just took a, it's like a 60 or 50 second video. And it said that. Some people responded. I mean, I responded by sharing. I was surprised that, you know, it got 60 views because I mean, I'm like, they, that's the only time I know. Well, I guess I can, I don't, I never, I never looked at, you know, how much engagement a tweet has. It give you the choice. Give you the cho I don't believe it because I don't believe anything they say. And uh, I, uh, I'm like, um, I don't, you know, care. I don't care, you know, but when you upload a video, that's how you, that's how I know. Because at least, you know, I guess somebody clicked on it. It's like, so we know, we know how they play. We know, they know how filthy they are. We know how deceitful, how they can put a face that, you know, like, oh, yes, whatever, you know. Leftists, they might put even... Uh, che Guevara and, and President Chavez and uh, you know they might put uh, all that but are they are they you know are they they are not obviously and I don't say nothing I'm like you know and I think I'm hoping there's a lot like me and I think so you know I suspect that it's like we gotta for ourselves and we gotta vote for these comebacks just because we have a coalition with other two political parties and if we don't vote for the coalition they're gonna take votes from us can you believe that shit they're gonna take votes from us oh because you got too much majority and we gave it to them I mean like if it's fair and square I mean shouldn't we like I just, I, will, I hope that we can make our own constitution, you know, like, that will be great. Because this constitution, like most constitutions, there was designed, specifically designed for the corporations. In Chile, they just had elections, and uh, they voted, uh, <clears throat> they voted uh, to have a new constitution. That's momentous. Momentous, and you don't see the press talking about that. You don't see the press talking about that. Oh my god, just talking about it, I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't know what they have up their sleeve. We are ready on mask. A lot of uh, they had a um, they had something with the bank that they was giving away uh, like gift cards that was empty and that it was gonna they had so many scams and schemes and whatnot it's like you go like wow but thank god that we are finding them out i mean we are literally in, at war with the electoral uh, what would it be the translation electoral board it's a board of electoral it's a scam it's just a scam our elections are the most expensive in the entire planet. They, they have a million directors and each one they make. You wouldn't even believe it. So right now, they are declaring war. They are like so upset. What do you mean? I, I cannot go to Europe five times a year. I cannot send my children to this this and that. I cannot like whatever, no more. What do you mean? Like, you know, they are enraged. And they are swearing they're gonna like, you know. We cannot lose. We cannot lose.
we are your next door neighbor and we might as well be in Siberia because you knew more what's happening in Siberia than what's happening next door. Unbelievable. You cannot make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. But I'm not gonna be like, you know, oh my god. Some people are like, some of them are generally freaking out. And some of them like, they are just pretending so they can create panic. They're like, oh no. We gotta vote. We gotta vote, we gotta vote uh, all our party. We gotta vote all our party, all our party, or if you're not. Now they're starting with this manichaeism, like, oh, if you say this, you are evil. You are the others. You are this, you know, like Biden in the inauguration. We are the good guys and the rest of you are just evil. You know, like, I'm like, I, I shut that shit down. Like, I mean, I don't care who that is. It's like, you gotta stop that shit. It's like, come on. They're still Mexican. No matter what. And people forget that. I have to be there like reminded. It's like, can you please shut the fuck up? It's like, we don't want them to go to Miami and, you know, they go throughout the entire planet. That's the problem. They go through an entire planet, they make up shit, and they're like, oh my god, we are refugees, blah, 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 blah. It's the same thing they, they do in Cuba, you know, out of Cuba, out of Venezuela, out of Nicaragua. They go like, you know, like Bianca Joggers. They're like, oh my god, we have a dictator. I mean, I mean, President Daniel Ortega is a superhero. That bitch don't even have the right to say his name. You know, I mean, they're very, very religion but, but other than that you know it's like can you imagine a small country like Nicaragua to, to be like you know it's it's amazing it's amazing that they, they they can you know I mean it's not perfect 